Hey, I'm Mike Reinschek from Spire Trap Online Marketing. What I'd like to do today is kick off our online marketing quick tip section. So every Monday we're just going to try to have a, a new tip of the week and any feedback or ideas from, from you guys, that'd be great. Um, what I'd like to start off today is search engine optimization and talking about robots.txt files. So if you want to learn more about them, you can either check out our blog at spiretrap.com forward slash blog or just do a Google search. There's a ton of stuff out there about them, but just want to point out a couple of things. Basically what they do is they tell the search engines what to crawl and not to crawl. So really what you want uh, the search engines uh, seeing from your site is just really rich, meaty text content. So what you want to do with the file is block out things like JavaScript files, um, Flash files, CSS files, any kind of programming language that isn't really text-based or, or really meaty content. Uh, another thing to point out is that I didn't add images to the, to the list because generally most people want images to show up in either in, uh, Google image search or universal search. But if you don't want them showing up, this is where you can block them out. Um, another thing to point out too is that once you're done creating the file, what you want to do is load it to the root level of your site and then if you already have a Google Webmaster account set up, you can check in within there and just make sure that it's blocking out the content. It's pretty slick. So another thing that the file does is it keeps individual pages on your site from showing up in search engine results. Um, and then, uh, of course, as I mentioned, the Webmaster account. So this is a really cool file to check out, learn more about, and then also to add to your website as well. So 